All right, welcome in. This is Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior, and for those of you on the East Coast, it is late, about 12:30 a.m. But as I was getting ready to go to bed, I saw the tweet come across from Todd Archer, one of the more respected Cowboys beat reporters. He just reported that Tyron Smith, starting left tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, one of the best in the league. He's been one of the best in the league for a long time. Suffered a severe injury to his left hamstring that could cost him a couple of months of this upcoming season. Now. We'll We'll dive into this, why we're talking about it, what it means. But first, this is why you subscribe to the channel. I told you with me taking on the duties as the full-time host of Philadelphia Eagles now, we'd be able to bring you some more content, whether we're at the Chat Sports Studios or if I'm at home, we're going to do just that. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below for the best year-round and daily coverage of the Philadelphia Eagles. So... This coming from Todd Archer, as I talked about. Tyron Smith suffering a severe injury to his left hamstring in Wednesday's practice. It could cost him multiple months of the 2022 season. And the source did indicate to Todd Archer that Tyron Smith's ACL is intact after initial review. But more reviews coming in the morning. That'll be tomorrow on Thursday. Perhaps the Cowboys have had some good luck. And from one standpoint, yes, because his ACL seems to be intact. But... Severe hamstring injury. This is notable for a couple of reasons. Dallas has an opportunity to compete in the NFC East. I think there are question marks on that roster, especially at that wide receiver position outside of C.D. Lamb. But let's be real. It's the Dallas Cowboys, and they have an opportunity to compete for the NFC East. And when you're without Tyron Smith, that significantly alters your overall offense because he's holding it down, protecting Brack, Dak Prescott as one of the best tackles in the National Football League. But if he's out for a long while and the Cowboys offensive line is weakened because of it, here's where the Philadelphia Eagles come into play. Not only are the Cowboys a division rival, so this alters Philadelphia, but also Andre Dillard could be on the trade block and Andre Dillard could be a trade candidate for the Dallas Cowboys. I understand it would be an inner division trade. Sometimes they don't happen. Sometimes they do. And this could happen if the asking price is right for Howie Roseman and he feels as though he gets back really good value for a former first round pick who hasn't necessarily lived up to those expectations throughout his NFL career, but is one of the more valuable trade chips in the National Football League because left tackle and tackle on the offensive line is one of the most important positions on a roster, and Andre Dillard has certainly shown some improvements over the last couple of years, and down the road, he could be a starting caliber left tackle, and this is where Dallas comes into play. And I understand you're talking about a divisional trade. Donovan McNabb got traded to the Washington football team back several years ago. So they have happened before to more notable positions like quarterback. As for Dillard, if you look out there for some of the best tackle upgrades through the trade market, Andre Dillard is right up there. Now, Dallas did spend a first-round pick on Tyler Smith, a left tackle out of Tulsa. So they could decide to go that route. But if he's not ready, Dillard comes into play entering the final year of his rookie contract. And right now for Dillard, he's behind Jordan Mailata on this depth chart. There's no clear path to him playing. There is value for the Eagles to hold on to Andre Dillard and not trade him away, even if the asking price from Jerry Jones in Dallas is really, really good. Because we saw last year, Dillard could fill in in a pinch, and he filled in very, very nicely for Jordan Maialata when he missed those two games. But it is also very attractive to potentially trade Andre Dillard for either significant draft capital, we're talking, I think, a second-round pick maybe, or maybe a solid player thrown in there as well. Going back to his rookie year, Dillard was not good getting drafted in the first round out of Washington State. 337 snaps. He only had a 59 pro football focus grade. League average is 70. 2020, he didn't play because of a torn biceps, but last year, I thought he rebounded well with how low of a spot he was at mentally and with his game during his rookie camp when he admitted he was mentally soft, physically soft, and not ready for the rigors of playing in the National Football League. Last year with Philly, in replacing Jordan Mailata, Andre Dillard was very good. 340 sna uh, 
pass blocking snaps, 340 pass blocking snaps, excuse me. It's real late. Seven penalties, one sack allowed, one hit allowed, 20 pressures, okay, but you had a mobile quarterback in Jalen Hurts. Really, the numbers that you want to look at there, it's the sacks allowed and it's the hits allowed. And Andre Dillard didn't give up a lot of those last year when he was holding it down, blocking the block uh, blind side for Jalen Hurts. So there's certainly a couple of avenues in which this could go for both Philadelphia and Dallas. Either way, this bit of news is significant for the Eagles because with the way that Howie Roseman has put together this roster, the improvements that we've seen take place at the wide receiver position with the acquisition of A.J. Brown to team him up with Devontae Smith, they finally invested in linebacker with N'Kobe Dean and Kaiser White. The cornerbacks with Darius Slay, James Bradbury, very good. And the Eagles have the highest paid defensive line in the National Football League. So this team is built to win right now. Jalen Hurts obviously entering a critical year, but skill position players, running back, quarterback, offensive line is one of the best in the NFL. Also a top two positional spending group in the NFL by Howie Roseman. The Eagles are well positioned. And if Dallas doesn't play well without Tyron Smith, and this injury ends up being a significant one, which it already seems it is, him being out a couple of months, this is the type of injury, this is the type of thing that could alter the divisional standings in what is going to be a closely contested NFC East. There hasn't been a repeat division winner since, what, 2004 when Philadelphia went on that run with Andy Reid, Donovan McNabb, Brian Westbrook, Brian Dawkins, Jeremiah Trotter, and the crew. And every year it seems as though this is a division that is very competitive all throughout the entire season. And one of these types of injuries can be season-altering for an organization out there and it's going to be a little bit altering for Dallas. Do they make the trade for Andre Dillard? Do they go with Tyler Smith? That's really what it comes down to because if you were to look at some of the other options at that tackle spot through the trade market, you're not going to go free agency to protect Dak Prescott with the amount of money that you're paying him, him suffering that ankle injury to some scrub out there. You have to find a quality player to replace Tyron Smith. It could be Tyler Smith if he's ready to rock and roll, or the Cowboys could come calling and hit up Howie Roseman and say, Howie, I understand we might not necessarily like each other. Our fan bases, they despise each other. This is one of the more hostile rivalries in the National Football League. We desperately need a left tackle, and we will overpay for Andre Dillard. And I'm sure if Andre Dillard's on Twitter right now, he's seeing that Tyron Smith went down. He's thinking to himself, okay, maybe even texting his agent, Dallas Cowboys, potential destination for me, it at least gives me an opportunity to play significant snaps early in the year. And Tyron Smith, he is a little bit older. He's 31 years old right now. Who knows how much he has left in the tank. I saw the clip of him going down from Cowboys practice. It looked a little bit ugly to start. It looked as though it was a non-contact injury where he just kind of fell onto the grass and was holding what looked to be the knee area, which, of course, as we know now, is the hamstring. So to recap everything, maybe Diller goes to the Dallas Cowboys. Either way, this impacts the Cowboys' win-loss record, their offensive scheme, their offensive production, and, hey, they could come calling for Andre Dillard. Let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, appreciate all of you for watching us here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now bringing you this video really late, but either way, significant news for Philadelphia, the rest of the NFC, and the rest of this division.